Yeah, so I was over on the boat. So where'd you get the boat to? Liverpool. Okay, and how'd you get from Liverpool to Manchester? Well, I'll tell you how I got there. I was 14, had no clue where I was, and I had to ask people, how, how do I get to, uh, to Liverpool? What's this, the station? Yeah, Lime Street. Lime Street. How do I get... I had no clue, you see. So anyway, I made my way to Lime Street. I made my way onto the train yeah. to get there. And I was only 14. The only time I got a bit worried was when we were about to get into Manchester. What they used to do, they used to say, uh, uh, Armstrong, Mr Armstrong, would pick up the kids. Okay. You know, I never met him before, you see. I didn't, I didn't know what he, what he looked like. That's mad. So when we were coming into Manchester, it's the only time I got worried because I thought, well... This he, guy isn't he, here. He'd never seen me and I'd never yeah. seen him. So if we don't see each other, where do I go? <laughs> I'm totally lost to man, having a clue where I'm going to Manchester. But uh, Joe Armstrong was his name. But he was he was the man for meeting kids. And I think he used to know by the broken down bag you had. That's it. So there was no problem, but that was the only worry I had. But it shows you what Manchester United were like, what they were like, a bit very mean with, with, yeah, yeah. with everything. I mean, they could have put me on the plane and that was it. Uh, but it was on the boat, on the boat, made me way, made me way there. And what and, were your, uh, I know, look, it was very different times, but you're still a 14-year-old kid. What were your parents thinking as you said, I'm off, heading on the boat, going to be meeting some lad in Manchester, well, it was, I'm it sure was, I'll get there it was somewhere. Up to, up to my father. I mean, my mother never wanted me to go anywhere. Yeah. Even when I was going permanently and when I was 15, she, did, she, did, she didn't want me to go anywhere. Uh, but, but you could say that. I mean, I, I, I probably said it to him afterwards. Why didn't you ask to get a plane? But he was probably delighted to have me gone to... Manchester United anyway. Yeah. Now, I loved it when I got there. And I, was, I was there for two weeks. I was supposed to be coming back. And I was in the shower one day, messing around with Liam Whelan, funny enough. And I fell on a bottle and got about eight, ten stitches in my hand. So they kept me back for another couple of weeks. Didn't want to send me home. And I didn't want to go home at, at that point. It was a pre-season uh, okay. stuff. And uh, oh, this was be just before the, the Busby Babes started. And I used to spend a lot of the training time because I wasn't training with any of the big lads or anything, watching the, the pre season uh, practice matches. Mm. I'd never seen it before. You know, uh, Duncan Edwards and Tommy Taylor and Liam Wheely. Bobby Charlton was just coming in into the second team at that point time. And he looked at that stage even one of the great, one of the, the great players. Are Duncan we, Edwards was the other one. When you look back to being that age, 14, 15, like, were you an incredibly highly motivated child were you going over there going I am going to make this work come hell or high water I'm going to do whatever it takes to make it as a footballer or were you just happy to be there I'm just happy to be there right yeah it was just uh, it was it was it was unbelievable you know you, you're go I was still in school at the time I was only 14 and I'm, I'm obviously playing with the younger lads mm. you know in the, in the five sides and and that was that was brilliant uh, and then you had time to look at the the first team versus the second. It was pre-season training, you see, which was brilliant. I mean, there was Duncan Edwards and Bobby Charlton and these. I never, I didn't know any of them. Didn't even know Liam Whelan. That called Tommy Hamilton. Do you remember Tommy? Came back to Rovers. Okay. Uh, so they, they they looked after me well, as well as they could. Anyway, I'm sure they were delighted when I went home. Uh, but I had a, you know, great run looking at the these players. I'd never seen them before. This was the, the really the beginning. This was 1956. The beginning of the Busby Babes. It was, it was brilliant to watch. You're not a <clears throat> you're not a young lad in his twenties going over to work the sites and send the money back to the family. But was there an expectation when you went to Manchester that you know send the money home every week? I think I think I think my, my, my dad got a few bob right to go, uh, but nobody saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Your mum didn't know about it. <laughs> Your didn't know about. It. She might if we, if she got X amount. He, she might have got X amount. Uh, but he, he was a great... My father was a great footballer and a great influence on me, but uh, uh, it was it was just brilliant to go. I mean, you're 40 and going to Manchester United and uh, you were in digs, same as everybody else. Uh, and then they, that's what they used to do, man. You, they'd bring you over and then you couldn't take you till you were 15, you okay. see. So then I went, I went back then when I was 15 on a permanent basis. 